Hey there, Scott Nissen, Colorado State University, here with one of my former PhD students, Derek Sebastian, who now is employed by Bear Crop Science. We're, the reason we are making this little short video is to talk about bare ground, and it's something that hasn't received a lot of attention from researchers in the past. A few years ago, with uh, Derek and a bunch of us from Boulder County, or Larimer County, uh, we put out a, a number of uh, multi-treatment bare ground products uh, to look at t not only which products work best together, but which one, what timing was better, spring versus fall. Uh, we published this in a paper in Weed Science, one of the few papers uh, that has been published on bare ground research. And what we found that was really interesting was that in this part of the world, where we don't get a lot of summer precip, actually the fall treatments in four out of our five study sites was superior to the spring treat. So we've kind of encouraged people who need to do bare ground, whether it's at a wellhead or roadside or some kind of right of way treatment, is to actually think about putting that out in the fall anytime up until the ground freezes is, is really ideal in this part of the world. So with that, I'm, I'm gonna have Derek take over and talk a little bit more specifically about why we're standing in this patch of bare ground. Yeah, thanks Scott. Yeah, Derek Sebastian with Bayer Vegetation Management and Scott did a great job of talking about, you know, the need for newer chemistry for bare ground because when you talk about, you know, these different weeds like kochia, Russian thistle in particular, they can be resistant to two, three, four products all at the same time. So really the intent was to look at many different combinations of different tank mix partners with newer chemistry and show that we can control you know, for a full bare ground season, a lot of these hard to control weeds like kochia. And, um, and like Scott mentioned, you know, what we found is that fall does provide better bare ground overall than spring. And our thought with that is during the fall, if you get that product out there, a lot of these soil applied chemistries, they need to get incorporated and activated before that next flush of seedlings of the weeds start to germinate in the spring. So basically, if you get it out in the fall, that allows for incorporation. There's less microbial degradation of the herbicides in that fall winter period as well. So really the only benefit you're getting is increased moisture for incorporation with limited degradation of those products. So it's really been cool to show that across a lot of these sites, we have operationally now a lot of railways and DOTs that are moving more towards a fall bare ground and they're seeing just fantastic results. And when you look at you know resistance as well, if you go out in the spring or, or if you have to go out in the summer, you get those bare ground calls. When the kochia is you know, six, eight, 10 inches tall, it's very hard to control. And you're putting a lot of pressure on that post-emergent tank mix partner, which there's likely resistance to. Uh, when you get out early in the spring or early fall, you're putting more pressure on that, that chemistry, that soil residual chemistry. And that's why we're thinking we see better control with, with those products. Uh, we're standing here in actually a demo of a new bare ground product. It basically we originated from all that work that we did at CSU. And we found that indazaflam, aminocyclopyrichlor, and amazapyr, that three-way, gave us nearly 99% plus bare ground across all those sites and different timings. And what we did with Bayer, so Bayer helped fund those studies and basically went through with that and, and developed a product called Plainview. And that was just launched uh, early 2020. And it's a three-way combination of all three of those active ingredients that I just talked about. And we're standing in one of those Plainview demos that we sprayed in April of this year. We're now in July. And you can see it's holding very, very well. This site has very thick kochia. Uh, there's, there's a little Russian thistle out here. There's bindweed, uh, cheatgrass. There's a little bit of curly dock. It seems like curly dock is a little harder to control with Plainview. You need to add something like Tellar to really get, get the curly dock. But overall, if you're targeting kochia, Russian thistle, bindweed, cheatgrass, this plain view does a fantastic job, like you can see here. Um, anything else, Scott, you want I to just add? wanted to add one, one thing. Um, there, will, there is a video that's gonna be available in, this, uh, in our virtual weed tour that, that talks about some of the impacts of herbicide-resistant kochia and the fact that we're really encouraging people, if you're in a site that you know you're gonna have a lot of kochia pressure, to really think about pre-emergence weed control of that kochia as opposed to a, trying to wait until and use post-emergence. We've got more options right now with the, with the number of uh, herbicide resistant kochia biotypes that we have, we have a much better chance of controlling kochia pre-emergence than waiting to do post. And so that's certainly one thing that's, uh, that we've, we've discovered from that work. And also, uh, aminocyclopyrichlor in our part of the world out here doesn't work that well on kochia post-emergence. 
but pre-emergence it seems to have a totally different uh, type of activity on the kochia and works extremely well so we weren't expecting that that was one thing we discovered with all the bare ground studies we put out over multiple years and uh, that combination has worked extremely well. Yeah, and then also on the resistance side, it's, it's found that you can delay resistance quite a bit by combining modes of action. So like Plainview has three different modes of action in the tank all at the same time. So you're basically targeting kochia from different, different angles, right? So if you have one product, one AI targeting kochia and there's resistance, you're basically out of luck. But if you have multiple modes of action in the tank that are effective, it seems to do a really good job. Um, but, you know, I guess from what we've seen, the take homes go out early with bare ground. If you can go out in the fall, combine modes of action for resistance management, and, um, and you should be good to go on that. So.